Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're continuing to talk about variables. What if we had something that looked like 6 and a half, the fraction 6 and a half, minus the variable y is equal to 3 times 2. Now remember, here in algebra we do multiplication. Uh, we can write it several ways. One of the ways we do it is with a dot. That means 3 times 2 on the right hand side. So we have 6 and a half minus some number, we don't know what it is, so we call it y, is equal to 3 times 2. So how do you solve something like this? Well, first we just kind of simplify it a little bit. We say, all right, this is 6 and a half right here minus some unknown variable y. It's a placeholder. And on the right-hand side, what is this 3 times 2 equal? Right? Well, that's going to equal 6. So what you really have is you have 6 and a half minus some number is equal to 6. And there's only one number in here that's going to work. If you take 6 and a half pencils and subtract something from it, the only way you can get 6 is if y is equal to 1 half. Make sure you understand that. So you stick y in here, 6 and a half minus a half is going to equal 6. So this is the only value of the variable y that's going to work. So we'll put a little bracket around it. That's going to be our final answer. All right. Now what if we have something uh, like a, the variable a, times the variable a? Because you can take variables and multiply it by itself, no problem. And that's going to equal on the right-hand side 2 times a. What is going to work here? Right, so some of these things, like, like this first one that we did, this was pretty easy. Six and a half minus some number. We're just trying to figure out what this is. Um, and so you can kind of look at it and you know that it's one half. This one is a little bit more difficult. Some, sometimes you look at these things and you can't really see what is the value of a such that when I put it over here, multiply it by itself, is the same thing as two times a. So my advice is if you don't 